So today we're talking about how important your thumbnail can be, specifically A-B testing your thumbnail. You create two thumbnails and you test it. You're not testing it to see what the YouTube algorithm says. You're testing it to see how real people react to it. Now, I'm an advocate for coming up with the best title and the best thumbnail when you launch your video. I don't know that it's such the exact science that some people lead you to believe, but what is that best thumbnail and best title that you feel like gives your video the best chance of being seen? That's what you should start with. So I did a video about iPhone tips and tricks that I think everybody should know, and there's a link to that down in the description if you wanna watch that. I created my thumbnail in Canvas, what I use for everything. Let me show you the first thumbnail I created and the second. So we're inside my Canva account, and you might tell there's a bunch of variations in here, but here's the first one I did right here. And you know, it's, it's good. I like it. I, I put myself in a phone. I actually added the video and the record, but I just seemed like it was doing okay. So I came up with this version. This is an AI generated image that I used Canva's uh, uh, text to AI. It's okay. This one turned out to be okay, but I've also used it before and it's just kind of... So this is the second version I did. Now I did add the video button here and, or the video button and the, and the text. So this is the, the B version. Which one do you think performed better? Do you think A or do you think B performed better? I would love to hear in the comments. So don't cheat. Type in the comments, which one do you think performed better? A, the one that has me in the phone, or B, the one that was done with AI. The final result, well, here's what TubeBuddy came up with after testing the thumbnails for 14 days. Right here. Now, when you run the test, you're gonna get this box, right? And it says, based on the click-through rate, the variation version of your video outperformed your original by 62%, the variation. And remember, the variation is this one right here but it gives you even more information. So for example, uh, it shows you the original click-through rate and the variation. That's that's a lot, guys. I mean, even a little can move something a lot. Does that make sense? Impressions on the clicks, watch time impressions. Check out this, the views. This is huge. So the views went up quite a bit from the original. And then the, even the duration went up quite a bit more. And you can get more stats in here like this. Even the variation was in browse more. So I, I don't know, did, did you pick the right one? Did you pick the one you thought would go up? But definitely, so what I did is then TubeBuddy will give you the option of switching to the variation. And I said, absolutely, let's use the variation. Now you could manually A-B test your thumbnails. It would be a lot of work. So I choose to use a tool called TubeBuddy. Now, TubeBuddy has a free plan if you want to check it out. There's a link down in the description. I'm on the Legend plan. I'm going to take you into the YouTube studio, into my dashboard, and show you how easy it is to do an A-B test on one of your videos. Okay, so when you go into your dashboard, you just want to pick a video, and I'll just pick this one on one I did recently on Rhodes, big news. You see test alternates right there at the top. You can choose thumbnail, title, description, tags. We're going to do thumbnail and it's gonna show you your current thumbnail. And this is where you can set how many days you wanna test it, when you wanna start it. I usually leave it 14 days, and I usually do it as soon as possible. Okay, so you wanna find that your alternate thumbnail, click on browse files, or you can drop it in. And I know this is my alternate right there, classified. And you click it, it adds it, and you start test. Now that's the easiest way of doing it, but there is another way. You go up to the little TubeBuddy icon right there. You gotta have, the, have it installed and you go to web tools and you'll see A-B tests. You'll see, here's the one we just set, but you can also do an A-B test from there as well. You see that it's already started and you'll see when it's gonna start and when it's gonna end, but you can also start the test from here as well. Do the same thing. In fact, we'll, we'll just walk through one right now. I'll pick this video, it was a short, so I don't need one. Same thing, how many number of days, when to start, continue. I'm just gonna add the same thumbnail here, uh, just, just for sake of you know demo. And then you, when it uploads, it may take a second, you hit start test, and it's the same process, just a tad easier. And I wanna give a shout out to Tropical Plants at 53 degrees for their comment and idea for this video. If you have a comment or even a suggestion for future videos, let me know down in the comments and check out one of the videos on the screen. Keep creating, cause the world needs you. Thanks for watching.